Welcome. Uh, I decided my uh, computer could use a little extra storage and I thought I'd see if I could get something that might be a little faster as well. So I went the uh, route of uh, going with a uh, NVMe SSD chip and I got the Acasis uh, 40 gigabit per second uh, enclosure and it has a built-in cooling fan so hopefully I won't have any problems with overheating. The Acasis enclosure uh, supports up to 40 gigabits per second uh, transmission speed compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and 4 and uh, they offer a tool free installation which I found uh, attractive so I can just pop it open and uh, put in the uh, SSD uh, card and away we go let's go ahead and open the uh, the enclosure and see what we got So there is our enclosure and it has a switch on the end of it, uh, it appears to be a reset switch momentarily pressed, although it's perhaps an on off switch for the um, fan and their 40 gigabit per second uh, USB-C port and open on this end it says. So let's see what it looks like. So we open it up and we can see where we plug our uh, card in there. and. Uh, that's about it. So uh, I am going to take a moment to uh, actually read the instruction manual, which is a little unusual for me. Usually I just plow right through it and uh, let it rip, but uh, I think I'll actually read the instruction manual. They do include a uh, Thunderbolt cable, so that's good. The thermal pad, obviously, and the all-important instruction manual. So I would say instruction pamphlet, perhaps, but uh, we'll take a look at it. So uh, I'll get back with you in a few minutes. As you just saw, I unboxed the uh, SSD enclosure from Acasis a couple of days ago. It is equipped with an internal cooling fan, which should be very nice. It is tool free on the installation. So you just slide the uh, SSD card in there and snap it uh, in the little hole right there with the included little grommet has a couple of uh, heat sink pads there. Usually I'm not one for reading instructions, but I decided since uh, this is my first uh, attempt at uh, doing a uh, enclosure with a, a separate SSD card, I might want to read the instructions and it's a good thing that I did. The first thing I saw when I opened up the instructions is the uh, supported protocol for this is a PCIe M.2 NVMe. Uh, as you saw from the unboxing, the, uh, the SSD card I had laying there was a 1.4. So I said, that probably won't work. So I shipped the 1.4 back to Amazon and uh, I got this. Oh, by the way, I had not opened the 1.4. I would have felt kind of bad returning it if I had opened it, but yeah. I would have still returned it, but uh, I'd have felt bad about it. So I ordered this Crucial, uh, which is an M.2 SSD. So uh, let's open it up here. Okay. And since I've turned over a new leaf and uh, I'm now reading instructions, let me browse through this and I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes. Well, they got every language in there covered, looks like. Fortunately, one of the languages they include is English. So basically, they're figuring I should be smart enough to slide the card in there and connect it. Although, uh, there is a installation guide at crucial.com. So, let's see here. Looks like it just slides right in there. There we go. So it's in there. And let me get the... Uh, little grommet out here so I can snap it in place. Let me see here. Yeah, that makes sense. There we go. Let's see what we got in the way of a uh, heat sink strip here. Looks like we got a couple of them. 0.5 millimeter and a 1 millimeter thermal pad. So let's see here. We'll just lay it on top there for a second and put the top on here and see how snug it feels before I uh, pull the uh, plastic off. Snapped in pretty good, so I don't think it's too tight. In fact, we might need both of them. 
Well, after my uh, recording was so rudely interrupted by that phone call, I did uh, complete the installation of the SSD into the uh, enclosure, and I have now hooked it up to the computer, and uh, we shall proceed to do a little bit of testing. The uh, first thing I'd like to test here is the noise level from the uh, fan in the enclosure. Uh, that fan is the primary reason I bought this enclosure, well, one of the primary reasons. And uh, I thought uh, with the reputation of these SSD cards running hot, a little bit of active cooling would be good to go along with the uh, passive cooling from the uh, heat strips. So let's see what we've got. So right now running uh, the fan and we're about two inches away from it. We're showing around 68 decibels and the little frequency spectrum meter uh, was showing that uh, the frequency of the fan noise is right around 920 hertz. So let's reach up and turn the fan off. And it's now about 47 uh, decibels in my office here. And we can see our little 920 hertz uh, signal has gone away as well. So there you go. Even with the fan running, it's not very loud. And uh, you can always tuck the uh, enclosure back on the uh, back side of your desk away from you a little bit. And I doubt that it would even be noticeable. So now with the uh, noise test out of the way, let's take a look at our speed. So we're using the uh, Blackmagic uh, disc speed test, which is pretty standard. And select the target drive, and that is going to be the Crucial NVMe 2.0. So we select that and open it. And uh, I had previously set this for a five gigabyte test. So let's see what she does. Now, I will point out that uh, this is a very good speed. In fact, I'm very happy with it. Uh, but the uh, advertisement uh, in uh, Amazon and also the packaging on the drive said that the speeds were up to 4,000 megabytes per second. And I grant that says up to and not guaranteed. But, uh, you know, there's a significant difference between 2,500 and, uh, well, 20, call it 2,600. We'll round up on the right speed and 4,000 on the advertisement. But, as I say, I'm very, very happy with uh, 2,575 uh, for the write and 2,257 for the read. And I never have quite figured out why read is slower than write on these SSDs. I'm willing to learn if anybody out there knows, I put it in the comments and educate me. To quote Loretta Lynn, don't you call me no stupid hillbilly. I might be ignorant, but I ain't stupid. And just for comparison's sake, let us go and select the uh, desktop, uh, which of course is the internal drive in the uh, computer and do a little quick speed test on it. So uh, this is the M1 Ultra, the SSD in it, and it is faster by a good margin, but that's good as far as I'm concerned, because that means I can work between the M1 Ultra and my external drive and uh, have really good response time. So I'm very, very happy with this uh, 2600 rounded up uh, speed that I'm getting out of the uh, um, crucial uh, SSD. One thing I do want to do is take a look at a couple of other uh, tests. And to do that, I am going to eject the uh, crucial drive and plug it in with a different cable. And yes, I know I got a lot of crap on my computer. Don't judge. Um, so actually, select that one for right now because I want to eject that one. Now that it is ejected from the computer, I'm going to unplug the cable and 
just for argument's sake, I'm going to use the cable that came with the uh, SSD. And uh, we'll pull it out here. Kind of a short little cable, but that's okay. Although it wouldn't, well, I guess it'd be okay if you're plugging into one of the back uh, ports on the uh, Ultra. And I'll just set it over here for right now. And so now that we got it plugged back in, let's go over here and select that as our target drive again. And we will run another test with the supplied cable. So about the same. So there we go. Okay, so it is ejected so I can unplug this cable. Whoops, ha! I'm an idiot. I unplugged the wrong one. This is where this one is now. What I was planning on doing was using a ordinary non Thunderbolt uh, USB cable and running a speed test for that. So let's plug in the garden variety El Cheapo cable. We will go out and select that as a target drive again. And let's run the test for this L Oh my goodness gracious. I guess the cable does make a little bit of difference, doesn't it? That's amazing. I was expecting maybe one or 200, but 38, uh, I'm, 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 I'm shocked. So there you have it, a uh, pretty good test of the uh, Acasis enclosure along with the uh, crucial uh, four terabyte uh, NVMe uh, SSD. To sum it up, I'm very happy with both. The noise level is nothing from that fan in the uh, drive and it is uh, keeping the drive absolutely cool to the touch. And uh, although it didn't quite reach the uh, 4,800 megabytes per second uh, that it was claimed it could do, possibly, I'm still happy with the uh, 2,600 that I'm getting. So thanks for watching. If you got good information, uh, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And as Sebastian says, have a good night.